and that gives the cardinal points of the solar calendar to the people to calculate. And among those polished stones, there is one stone which is out of the way in its shape from others that receives reflection once in every great year. That is when one cycle of the equinox is completed. When it enters once again the constellation of the bull, that corner of that stone receives the reflection of the sun. This is what Hero explains about the reflection of the stone. Yes, it must be. But at the same time, it was also used as the, as the tomb of emperors. No doubt about the fact that it was used for initiation. Because the pictures on the walls, they indicate all the catchwords and the grips and passwords of initiations. So, there is no doubt about the view that they were once the centers of initiations. It is said by some esoteric students, there is great treasure underneath the Cheops pyramid and that there is a lot of gold and gemstones and it will be opened after some time and exactly by the same time the old uh, land of Atlantis will be discovered once again. This is one of the prophecies, speculations of some researchers. Tombstone. Generally speaking, it is not far dangerous, but it all depends upon the particular individual and his psychic level. You see, if the, if the person has such an amount of strong belief over psychism and the phenomena, he will have strange experiences due to his strong auto-suggestion, except that for others there is no danger at all with the stones. But certain people should not be permitted to use those stones because they make their thinking and imagination and they prepare their own world about them. When there is no negative psychism in the person, there is nothing dangerous with those stones. Only means that is the place, that is the uh, point where the maximum amount of power is exercised. Is the cross the craft? Suppose this is the center of the, this is the column in which the maximum power is exerted. So, vertically speaking, yes. in the top it is the maximum. And vertical column it is uh, stronger than other places. Okay. And on the apex it is the strongest. So, yes, yes. So, it has nothing to do with the, uh, the uh, power of the uh, parent. That I told you. <laughs> the various parts uh, mm. that are used as to have nothing to do with the ritualistic or symbolistic aspect of uh, parent. Mm. The two are two different aspects. No, 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 the, the initiations are to lead the candidate uh, through a path which is the imitation of the path of the uh, annual sun. It is solar and planetary, an imitation of the path of the sun. So it has nothing to do with the strongest point of the uh, pyramid. For example, the the student for initiation was blindfolded and he was made to stand at a point which represents the sun in the midnight position. And then he, he has to walk a path which is symbolically leads him to the east. So the, initia, the path of initiation in the pyramid is built only according to that. Whereas the strongest point has nothing to do with it. No. When a person were to be placed, it is on the apex of a pyramid. But yes, a thing used by the person, for example, food or medicine should be based on the bottom. This point is explained by Manly P. Hall also in his work about the pyramid.